What's good YouTube, welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be talking about my new tattoo. You see this spot right here, we're gonna get it filled in. Basically, half sleeve is going to be done. It's gonna be finished, finito. Before I take you all with me to the tattoo shop and getting this done, no, I'm not telling you right now what I'm getting. You'll see it after I get it done. Just watch the little ASMR in the vlog and stuff. Don't skip to the end. Give me the watch time. Before I do get attacked by some people who do not know my beliefs, I'm obviously a Shia Muslim. If the tattoos don't say then I don't know what does say it. We are allowed tattoos. No, no, none of our scholars, there's no hadith in our books. There's no, nothing from the Quran, from our interpretations that, you know, say tattoos are haram. None of our scholars say so. At most, it's makru and the... Uh, Scholars that I follow, they don't say it's not allowed or even my crew. So leave the fight in. This is not a place for fighting. I'm not gonna refute any of your things. I have my set of beliefs, you have yours. We're just gonna be here, talk about my ink. If you like it, cool. If you don't, don't leave no negativity. May God bless you. You go on with your life. But let's get right into this ink. So I'm finally done. And look, so for those of you who wanna see it, my hair is growing through the ink. So that shows you it sits under the skin. I'm literally pulling hair. It's not skin. You see that? Like, bro, I don't know if like if it's perfectly clear, but look, it's literally hair that's being pulled. I barely grow arm hair. Non-tattooed arm, never shaved. Barely have arm hair. It was shaved here before a tattoo and it grew back, but you can barely see it. So yeah. It's gonna get full, it's gonna be done. I can't wait. And actually, I was supposed to get this in about two to three weeks, but my tattoo artist, he put it up on his Instagram story. He's like, yo, I got a few hours open right now. Hit me up, let me know. I was like, yo, bro, what about my joint? Can I get it done? And let's see if it actually gets done. Let's hope it comes out really good. I got my mask this time, and it's nice and sunny. So let's get it. Yo, bro, I don't have a ticket, right? Oh, we lit, we lit, we lit. The time is 5.19. 4.51, no ticket, turn me up. I am so, so thankful I did not get a ticket. I was only over by like, what, like 20 minutes? Anyways, the reason why everybody is here, the new ink, you guys wanna see it. See it right after this commercial break. a very very meaningful piece obviously as you can see I'm like getting a whole sleeve getting done and everything and I went one piece at a time I didn't just tell the artist yo this is what I want because you know I'm thinking stuff through as time goes on so you know I'm not I'm not gonna regret any of it could have flowed better with everything else sure whatever I really don't care but yeah here it is so as you can see it's a eye and it's a female eye, which is crying, which is all sad and everything. And you can see there's a teardrop going down to the rose below. So the eye is representing Lady Zainab salam, and, and the tear that is dropping is actually dropping to the rose, which I dedicated to Lady Fatima salam. The significance on that is after what happened at Garbla, the eyes of Bibi Zainab, which saw not just that tragedy, she's also known as the mother of tragedies, for she, where she's seen what happened with her mother, her father, her other brother, her other two brothers on the day of Ashura, what happened in Sham, all that stuff she lived through. She went through all these tragedies. So I'm gonna get more tattoos like in this month. I'm gonna show you guys like 
that's when I'm like half the sleeve is gonna be officially done. That's when I'm gonna show you like the significance of everything else. But this one, I'm only gonna tell you about with that one rose because it correlates to this tattoo directly. So the eye tattoo with the tears, it is actually watering the flower, which is for Lady Fatima, signifying that the tears of Zainab is going to keep the flower of Fatima blooming. What do I mean by the tears of Zainab? The tears that keeps it blooming, it's the tears of those who cry over the son of Fatima, Imam Hussein al-Islam. So the, the, that's what those tears represent. It represents us who mourn over the Imam, Lady Zainab who saw it all happen, and how she kept the message of her mother going. So she kept her flower blooming in every way possible. So that's what this tattoo means to me. And that's why I wanted it on myself permanently. And a lot of people are probably gonna be like, like not the people that are gonna say it's haram, but like some people that are like on the side of like, oh, you shouldn't even get tattoos. Oh, what would Bibi Zainab say? What would she say? I'll be like, listen, man, if I see this and it reminds me of her and that reminds me of Imam Hussein and that reminds me of Allah, and every action I do after seeing the ink leads to an action that Allah is happy with, I'm pretty sure Lady Zain will be fine with that. I I'm guessing so, I don't know so, but if it's not Haram, you shouldn't be really judging. To each their own, I guess, but I hope you guys like the ink. And yeah, I'm gonna get some more just to fill in whatever's empty. So, catch you guys for that video, and when I do show you, the rest of it like obviously everyone saw everything else it went, it went kind of viral on twitter but the rest of it is going to flow in perfectly and i'm going to explain every piece and why i got what and how it all correlates so again thank you for watching please like if you like this video comment whatever you guys want to see more fitness stuff coming soon and inshallah we get to ramadan which is about a week away so catch you guys then peace